What's up, YouTube? Gio here again. Just checking in. It's almost Christmas time. I just finished um, repairing a double wall oven. I had to pull it out of the wall, get it repaired, and reinstall it. Happy customer, another happy customer. It's almost Christmas, so you know they're real happy to get their oven uh, working again. You know, that way they can cook, especially since they have guests into town. Oh, yeah, now I'm here on my way to the other customer here. I'm driving my car today because my axle on the truck blew out and had to put it in the shop. But that doesn't stop me from doing what I got planned and staying on track. You know, a lot of people, they always find any sort of excuse just to get out of whatever uh, commitment or obligation that they make. Um, with me, you know, no matter what, I, I'm trying to be there and I'm trying to get it done. Even if I have to um, catch a cab, catch a Uber to get there, you know, whatever commitment I make, I um, always try to make sure I stay on top of it and, and kind of fulfill it. Now, I have tried a whole lot of different jobs when, when I was growing up. You know, being an entrepreneur, um, I, I always tried to um, keep an open mind. Um, so, you know, I, I always tend to just uh, look, look at whatever opportunity, you know, uh, present itself and, and always in the pursuit of um, learning new things. So I have did um, I have did a lot of different type of jobs out there. Tried a lot of different things. I've tried internet marketing. Um, I have opened and tried a, a janitorial um, cleaning cleaning business. Um, I had bought a janitorial cleaning franchise as well. So you know I had owned and run a janitorial cleaning business. I did that for about uh, two years before. Um, you know, before I kind of uh, close that business down. Um, and I've also um, was in the hair business. You know, I was I was buying and, and selling uh, hair. You know, I went into hair business miles, with my sister. Exit 129 toward Florida 70 East. Um, so Jumpy a Road. lot, a lot of different type of business. Uh, I've done painting, plastering. Um, used to do concrete work, concrete polishing. You know, I did, I did a lot of work, a lot of different type of work, almost just so many different type of work um, throughout throughout my years, um, you know, being a young entrepreneur, um, open a lot of different types of businesses, um, you know, just explore a, lo a lot of different ventures and stuff like that. Um, just try to uh, experiment, you know, see what is what, um, see if the, um, uh, the numbers really make sense. Uh, with, with a lot of these different types of businesses and stuff like that. So, you know, that's one of the things. You, you can't be scared to kind of really kind of expose yourself out there and, and try new and different types of business ideas and, and, and stuff like that. You really have to, uh, have to be um, really open-minded and, you know, uh, willing to, to do your research and a lot of due diligence, um, you know, when it comes to a lot of uh, a different Take type of business opportunities are, are out there. Because about, I would say most of the business opportunities you're going to come across, the majority of them are, are just strictly scam um, or, or doesn't really work. Um, because the type of person I am, um, if I'm going to try and do something, or um, explore a business opportunity or something like that. I'm going in mile. there giving it over 100%. I'm giving it all I got. Um, and, and that's the type of uh, person that I am. Um, you know, I'm going in hard at it. So with me being that type of person and, you know, going hard at it and, and really kind of just following the, the, the blueprint and so forth and, you know, I kind of just look at the numbers, and for me, if the numbers isn't adding up, it ain't making sense. So that would tell you what to do at that point. Once you do your due diligence, run the numbers, explore it, try it, and, and see, um, see if it's something that works for you, that that's work for you, and that is profitable. 
you know, if it's, if it's not profitable, um, the numbers ain't making sense, you know, you, you got to look for something else, you know, not, not every venture or every opportunity you're going to come across being an entrepreneur, it, it's going to be, be worth its, its weight in gold. Um, you know, as I said, the majority of them is, is complete, complete trash garbage. You won't make no money doing it. Okay. Absolutely. Another client calling. Yeah, so you really got to be, um, just be aware, aware and, and make sure you do your due diligence out there. Yeah, so I've, I've did um, so many different businesses. So when when sometimes people look at me and um, like sometimes, you know, like when I was doing general construction, they'll say, oh, you're a jack of all trades. You do everything. I'm like, hold on. No, I have to stop them right in their shoes right there. I'm like, hold on. No, no, no. I'm not a jack of all trades. I'm a master of whatever I do. So if I'm doing it, you better best well believe that. I'm a master of doing it, and it's going to come out the, the best way it possibly can. Um, even, you know, if someone's been doing it forever, when you look at the comparison between my work and their work, um, it, it's going to look the same, you know, because everything I'm doing, I try to do it to the best of my ability, um, no matter what it is. And that's, that's something that you always have to strive for. That's something you really always have to strive for in life. And, um, you know, just be open-minded, be polite, um, you know, be, be consistent in whatever you're doing and you're going to find yourself, um, you're going to find, um, a lot of doors. You're going to find, you're seeing a lot of doors opening and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Me being a, a young entrepreneur, I have tried a lot of different businesses. I have opened up a lot of different companies. Um, so many different companies. Oh my goodness, I tell you. So right now, um, I'm just really just focusing and just doing uh, my appliance repair business that I got going on now. And I got a couple other business that I got a small position in, um, you know, but, but mainly that's what I'm focusing on. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing investments on the side as well. Um, but I am, I'm full-time, I've always been full-time um, um, employed, full-time entrepreneur. I've been, been that for, for years, for, you know, as long as I can remember. You know, I even tried um, back in the years when I was younger, try Uber, try Lyft, you know, run the numbers on those. Uh, I saw that Uber at any time was taking anywhere from 33% to 65% of every dollar you make. And, and to me, that wasn't making sense. So I just did that for um, about three months. I was doing Uber and Lyft back when I was younger and run the number. I found out that Lyft, you know, they take 25%, which is pretty good. But Uber, my goodness, if every dollar you earn, someone is taking 33 to, to 65% of it. That's crazy. Oh, my goodness. Who are you really working for? You know? So you, you, you got to explore, you got to run the numbers, you, you got to keep data and, and you know, you just got to keep tracking and, and see if, if, if whatever you're doing is, is sustainable, is, is, is profitable and, and will, will benefit you in the long term. And I'm making a laugh. Absolutely. So from from back in my early um Use early the left lane to turn slightly left onto Okeechobee Road and then turn left onto Harvard After Road. my teenage years Look where I'm going a little bit Yeah, I've tried many different things. I had opened up a real estate investment program. Next left, um, I did some private lending back in the years um, where I was lending um, lending to, to real estate investor and first lien position on investment properties. Um, so, you know, I did, I did quite a bit, quite a bit of stuff. I done been around the block, you know, to get to where I am now. Um, you just got to keep pushing forward, keep believing in whatever you're doing and, and, you know, um, just got to keep the faith, you know, that's, that's how you got to do it.
This is Gio, just checking out. You guys be safe out here. Link and info down below in the description.